Hello everyone, welcome back to another DevFronter 2 video and what's hopefully the first of many tutorials for DevFronter 2. Um, now, I've been playing DevFronter 2 for about two years now. Um, it's almost my two year anniversary playing it actually. And I've only really ever made one quick start guide and it's pretty outdated now. Um, if you want to see it, it's basically the channel trailer. Um, yeah, it's pretty outdated and I've been meaning to do like a, a full on tutorial series and by tutorial series I mean basically short videos uh, just explaining certain mechanics, certain, certain things, what you should be doing um, just a, a bunch of things, boss guides, everything so we're going to be going almost like from a chronological order perspective so this episode is basically just about checking the you know the menus and the settings uh, and everything like that next episode will be about creating a character and an account and uh, yeah so let's get into it so of course when you start up the game this is what you're going to see uh, um, unfortunately you have to create a new account because it's one of those types of games uh, I don't think Neil can really do it based off Steam accounts and all that um, but uh, yeah you have a bunch of options here you've got the language options that you can change if you wish um, you've got the credits option you've got the settings game news community I'm going to go into the settings really quickly turn this down just so I can hear myself think um, so obviously you know credits uh, now the settings, uh, if, if anyone's played a lot of multiplayer or just many PC games in general, I don't really have to explain what a lot of this stuff does. Um, but these are my settings anyway. I've got invert mouse off, obviously, you know, that's a preference thing. I don't really like invert, it's not really my kind of thing. Screen shake, I'm not a fan of, I think it makes the game look a little weird. Uh, when you shoot, swear filler, I give that off, I don't mind. Nudity, I keep off just for the sake of YouTube and not getting demonetized or whatever. Um, FPS pin counter, I always like to have this on when I'm playing games. Um, multiplayer mode, now this is a, well, an interesting one because basically the game runs off two types of systems, right? So you've got the uh, MMO auto join option and the lobby option. Now the MMO option essentially when you create a character or whenever you actually hit play it will automatically put you into an instance. It will basically just put you in the game and it will match you up with a random bunch of people, essentially. Um, lobby mode is a thing where you're limited to eight players in one lobby in the the world basically you can create it, you can set passwords etc i'll go over that in another video um but the mmo mmo mode allows you to how about i think it's but i believe the max right now is 32 players per mmo instance of course depending on how many people you want to meet maybe it's wise to go for a different server or whatever which is what this option is here so you get the european server the north american southeast asia there's no australian right now so if you're uh, an aussie it might be best to play southeast asia um, the ping I find isn't really a massive problem when I'm playing DF2. Um, I usually play quite a lot of stuff solo anyway, so it doesn't really affect me. If you're playing solo in DF2, then you won't have many ping problems, at least in my experience. Don't quote me on that, that's just my my experience. Screen resolution, hopefully you know you all know what that is. I obviously keep mine on max. Full screen, uh, brightness I turn up quite a bit because when I'm playing in the sun, this game is very dark. <laughs> um, so these are all the options here. Uh, shadows I keep a high. Uh, textures to keep high, I always like my high textures, shade, uh, shader quality high, view distance far, target frames per second is 120, that basically means that once it hits that it should cap. Uh, I've got river tuner in the background which uh, essentially keeps the game capped at 120 anyway just in case this one fails because caps are a little weird in games. V-Sync, I prefer to keep that off, it's just not my thing. Uh, movie bars, also prefer to keep that off, I like to have as much of the screen as possible. Um, HUD, obviously if you're you know, a, re a realism expert then I guess you could turn that off. Um, Anastropic textures, I keep that on, soft particles, keep that on, rain effect, uh, you can choose to have this on or off. At the moment the game is constantly raining and it's constantly nighttime. so if you want to turn off rain you can basically do it that way. Um, removing bodies, um, I usually keep that on just for performance, uh, removes the bodies after a certain amount of time. Uh, Anti-aliasing, looks nice, doesn't make the game look too blurry to me so I keep it on. Chromatic aberration is essentially, I believe, where uh, objects or characters have a slight glow around them. I prefer to keep that off, I don't like it very much. Uh, eye adaptation, I have to say I actually don't know what that is. It might be something to do with the camera, I actually don't know. Ambient occlusion, mild shadows on objects, um, I keep that on, makes the game look lots better. If it looks a little weird, the shadows, but I just think it looks a lot cleaner with ambient inclusion. Depth field, I prefer to keep that off. If you don't know what depth field means, basically means that for a certain distance, you'll be able to see things clearly, and then it starts to fog up a little bit. Bloom, uh, I keep that on. Sometimes I keep it off. Depends on the game, really. Uh, the bloom isn't too egregious, I find, in this game. Volumetric lighting, I love to keep volumetric lighting on. It looks beautiful. Motion blur, I turn that off straight away. I don't like motion blur. Vignette, I don't like that either. Just just obstructs the vision, makes everything a little darker. Color filter I keep off personally because 
The color filter looks a little too gray. I like it when it's a bit more colorful, so I turn that off. Contrast filter, I keep that on. I think it looks pretty good. Reflections, I keep on. Lighting is quite a cool one because if you turn that off, then it's basically going to be one, one, uh, one level of brightness throughout the entire game. So if you if you have a really bad PC, you can customize that and it should. That's probably the biggest effect in terms of performance boost, uh, other than resolution. So if you have a really uh, a pretty bad computer or laptop, whatever, might be wise to turn it off. Deferred rendering, I don't know much about it. I leave it on. Uh, environment effects, I keep that on, and blood effects, I keep on as well. Although if you want, you know, to be a hardcore pro player, then maybe turning off blood effects would be good, just so you can see what's what's going on a bit easier. So that's the settings menu out of the way. Uh, game news is essentially what you'd expect, just patch notes and things. This always gets updated. Whenever a new update comes out, you start the uh, the game, this will instantly appear uh, by default. Uh, very good if you aren't really clued up on the community stuff. Uh, community is essentially, if I recall, this is just a Discord link. Uh, so if you want to join the Discord, you can click that. That's all the main options in the menu. Um, so that's the first video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, like I said, it's going to be more of like an episodic thing, so I'll be recording the next one straight after this. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was clear enough. Um, if anyone wants to correct me on some of the options like adaptation, eye adaptation, eye adaptation, feel free to do some in the comments. Uh, I'll pin the comment or something uh, just so it's there. Because I want this to be like a, a resource for new players just wanting to get into the game. Um, because there's not really a lot of tutorials like this. It's just sort of, you know, the odd ones here and there. So I want to make a simple quick start guide that makes a lot of sense. Because the game is pretty, you know, pretty set up now and there's uh, not much chance of the entire thing changing uh, to a completely ridiculous level anytime soon. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.